Hello and welcome back to Step by Step, episode number 103. We're here in Project 003, and I've made quite a good bit of progress off camera, so let me show that off to you. So first, I had nothing to do with this, but it looks like I think we have more animals now. We now have another cow and another pig. Maybe we don't, I don't know. Secondly, if we come inside, you'll notice some corners are missing and uh, been replaced with just power strips. And the only one that currently has a uh, energy acceptor is this one over here that's blocked off. But if we go up a floor, you'll notice weird stuff in the roof, things going on. But if we go up another floor, I've actually moved some of our machines here. So I'll first show off these. I, uh, I took a hint from Sky Factory 4, which adds in these mulch thingies, and the way and these mulch will just make things grow a lot quicker and produce more drops. So I'm just getting a bunch of string and a bunch of other stuff. I really just want a lot of strings so that I can make a lot of wool so I can make more of the uh, the dense smart cables and whatnot. And then, yeah, they're just all getting pumped into this interface here and it's getting put into the system. Um, and then over here, I have a bunch of interfaces with their own auto crafting things behind them. So I've got the sag mill right here, which you'll know will grind stuff up got an induction smelter which is mainly used to make a uh, hardened glass uh, then we have the alloy smelter and the compactor the compactor is really just used to make a uh, plate so that I can make buckets and stuff um, and I'm gonna get a whole second row of machines there later then we have the inscriber which I'm working on setting up it needs it needs power so actually now that I think about it no, that won't be able to work. I don't... Oh, yeah. I was going to connect it up through the bottom. That's how I was going to do it. I was going to connect it up through... Oops, right here, basically. So that should be easy enough to do. Um, I'll probably put the other A2 machines here, just like the um, the crystal growth the chamber thingy. Yeah. Or actually, no, sorry. I'm going to put more inscribers here, just like this one can only ever make silicon. Then, like, this one can only make the gold, the diamond, and the pure crystal stuff. Then I'll just have another one somewhere else that actually makes the different components. Maybe I'll put it on the other four on that wall when I get to it. Then we have the two magma crucibles and fluid transposer. This one is set up to uh, for molten cryothium so I can make more of these cryostabilized flux ducts. And this one is just constantly pumping out redstone from the system to fill it with molten redstone because part of making cryostabilized flux duct is you need a redstone, leadstone flux duct or something. And then, of course, we got our 64 crafting storage. Nothing really happening at the moment. But we can come down and I can actually craft something. So let's say, so I've got 24 cryostabilized flux duct. Let's say I just want to make one more real quick. And we can see, I think I actually already have most of the materials available. But it'll, it'll shut off the system for a while whenever I do something that takes a little while. But yeah, we have another cryostabilized flux duct now. And so yeah. Auto crafting is set up very nice at the moment. I want to figure out how to m stop my ME drive stuff from going offline. I don't know if it's because it, at the very moment, it doesn't have enough power because these cryostabilized flux stuts are actually a little bit weird how they work, even though they're infinite RF. I think it's not truly infinite. I don't know how it works. Um, but yeah. And so today, I wanted to work on. Apparently, I completed a quest. Oh, Skystone Steeds, that's right. I want to work on Indorite, oh, that's not Iota, Kappa, Lambda, Mu, Nu, I think it's up more, Theta, Eta, yep. I wanted to make a farming station, because I'm going to use a bunch of those, probably just going to have to build like a giant field over here, I'm just going to make a bunch of those that I will be using for all our different magical crop stuff. Um, so let's make a farming station. Farming station. What is this? Better than a backhoe. Okay, maybe we'll make one of those. So we need vibrant crystals and a bunch of other things. So we need us our slice and splice. Needs two solarium, a redstone, two silicon, and a zombie head. So if we grab our solarium, also I'll toss the racks in there. We need what I say, a redstone. A zombie head or the other two bits silicon silicon and then we need energized bimetal gears do we have the things for that we have bimetal gears we don't, do we have energetic alloy there we go 
I'll make two energized by metal gears. I'm probably going to set this all up to be auto crafting later, but at the moment, I'm just going to do it for now. Oops. Um, pulsating crystal, do we have the things? We do. Single pulsating crystal. The soul machine chassis, do we have one of those? I don't know, we'll see. Uh, more solarium, we have that. And then vibrant, vibrant crystals, we need more vibrant alloy. One, two. And then vibrant crystals. Okay, then let's... Oh, okay, I guess I've never had that achievement. Come to our slice and splice, boink, 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 boink. And it will slowly make a Z-Logic controller. And then we come back. We grab. Do we have one? We don't have a soul machine chassis. Do we have a soul attuned whatever we do? Do we have a different type of chassis? We do. Okay, then we can just toss these in a... What would you prefer they be tossed in? Induction smelter. Okay. Which we have up here. Oops. A little bit annoying because as soon as I throw these in here, they're, yeah, they get sucked into the machine, which I guess is fine because I'm just going to go and craft it like that anyways. There we go. We got a farming station. So we will grab those five racks. Maybe let's also just real quick make the vat real quick. We don't really need it. Well, I'm sure there's a situation in which we might need it. Oh, there's an enhanced vat. Interesting. There's probably a situation in which we will need it, but... I cannot currently think of one. We need two fluid tanks. We need a cauldron. We need an industrial. Do we have industrial dye blend? We do not. Industrial grade graphite. Okay. So industrial dye. We should have... Oh, wait. How do we make this? We need lapis powder, organic green, and organic black. Organic green is from clippings and... Or it's green dye, a slime ball, and cold dust. So we should have, like, pretty easy to get all of that. what I say? I need green dye. We got a billion of that. And then we need, um, coal. We've got some coal dust. So we'll just toss all that up there, and it should give us exactly what we are craving. And yeah, it's still going to get sucked out. Okay, and then lastly, we need, we can get that pretty easy. Organic black dye is, oh yeah, just tiny, oh, it just needs the slime balls. Okay, let me grab some more slime. Slime. There we go, good enough. And then toss you in there. Ah, oh well, that's good enough. Okay, and then I just need to grab a bit of lapis. We'll just make a whole stack of it, because why not? And then let's hop down here and craft ourselves some industrial dye blend. And then let's also craft a chassis. Let's head back up, toss it into here. Yeah, I got it. Okay. And then make ourselves the vat. Yay! Yeah, so I'm a little surprised there's no quest for an enhanced vat. So I'm kind of tempted. Oh, wait, in steel. And yeah, we could do it. Yeah, I'd just rather not. Then, yeah, we've made a vat and a farming station. This farming station will be put to very good use. I also don't know if I mentioned I made mob soup is kind of my food because look how much food it gives and it's really easy to craft. But yeah, if you have enjoyed today's episode of Step by Step Project Ozone 3, thank you very much for enjoying and I will see you in tomorrow's episode. Bye bye.